We constantly struggle with eye strain just because we are sitting with computer every single day. And this is of course not healthy. And in previous video I talked how lighting can improve your eye strain just by using correct light. In this video I want to talk about second thing that really helped me and it is buying a better monitor. And actually in the last 10 years I tried quite a lot of stuff to improve the state of my eyes. I tried blueberry tablets, I did some exercises for my eyes, I even bought glasses with orange lenses. But it didn't help me a lot, what really helped was first of all good lighting and secondly good monitor. And about good lighting I already talked in a previous video, so now it's time to talk about a monitor. And actually if you just want to know what monitor I am using, I am currently using two monitors. One of them is LG Ultrafine 4K monitor which is 24 inches and secondly I am using M1 AMAC with 4K display. Which actually means I am using two monitors which are both in 4K and there is an important reason for it. I don't use a native resolution of 4K, I am using it as a retina, which actually means it doubles my pixels and I have just Full HD on my monitor, which actually means my image is super crisp and I saw that it helps a lot against eye strain. Because previously in the office I had an ultra wide monitor, which was not retina. And I can say for sure that the difference between working in the ultra wide display without retina and with retina at home is really significant. My eyes are not that strained after the whole day of working at home than in comparison to the office. Which actually means this 4K image is super crisp and it is really good for your eyes. And yes, such monitors cost quite a lot of money, but it is worth it in the long run. Also here is my opinion about ultra wide monitor if you think about buying one. They are certainly not bad but they are not comfortable to work with. Why is that? Because they have this strange resolution. Typically we have this ratio 16 to 9 which is the most common ratio and resolution across all displays. In the ultra wide monitors you have completely different resolution. And typically your resolution will be quite high there like maybe 4K or something like that, but all your icons and all your applications will be relatively small. Which actually means you can't work comfortably there if your eyes are not that good. And your image is never retina there. Also I am really a fan of using two monitors instead of one ultra wide monitor, because it is not that easy to position and manage all your applications across ultra wide monitor, because typically you don't want to see just a single application, you want to see like three or four of them because your monitor is that wide. If you just have two normal monitors like 24 inches then you don't have any problems, because typically you will have two open applications on every single monitor. Also a lot of people nowadays are looking to buy a monitor with bigger inches like for example 27 or 29. And you need to keep in mind this table with the most comfortable distances where your monitor should be placed. And you must remember that if you have the bigger monitor then you must put it further away. And not all people have place on their desk for that. This is why I highly recommend you to get two high quality 4K 24 inches monitors. And here is one more important point, almost all monitors have matte image and not glossy, which actually means your monitor is looking less like a mirror. And if you have glossy monitor you will have much cleaner image and it is much better for your eyes, this is what I tested myself, but it will look for you a little bit like a mirror, because you will see objects in your room inside your monitor. But obviously if you have high brightness you won't see anything except of your applications inside your monitor, so it's not a problem for me. So here is my conclusion, you must take care of your eyes until it is too late. And monitor is one of two main ways how you can improve the situation. And if you are interested to know how to improve your lighting, make sure to check this video also.